good morning. Good morning. Yes. So very good morning to all the lovely children who are here and the adults who happen to be here because of our children. Okay. So are you excited for the session? Yes. So how many of you like to read books and listen to stories? Which was the last time you didn't watch something on a gadget on YouTube or probably on the internet or listen to a podcast? Okay. Can you put your hands down? We are not in a classroom. Okay. So my name is Devyani and um, I love children. I love spending time with children. All the energy that I gain is from children and um, there's so much to learn from all of you. Okay. So you are the hope for the future. And um, so I have written um, several books. Um, three of them are um, 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 compilation of poems in Hindi and then two books in English. And the, uh, the prequel to this one is about uh, Raghu and a little baby elephant called Albeli. And uh, they're both spending their early childhood years in Jim Corbett Park in Uttarakhand. Have you ever been to any wildlife sanctuaries or parks? Wonderful. Even if you haven't, maybe you should watch uh, something on National Ge Geographic about animals. And uh, there is so much to learn from nature. We are so busy seeing all the uh, traffic on the roads and the high-rise buildings. We forget to admire the beauty of nature and what we have to learn from it. So the new book that I'm going to read out a chapter from is, is this one, which is called Almeli and Raghu, The Tale of the Langurs. So as I told you that the book before this was about Albeli, a baby elephant, and Raghu, a Mahavat's son, who were growing up together in uh, Jim Corbett Park, and this is the second part of it. So how many of you have seen langurs? Okay. So do they look like monkeys? Almost. So yes. Uh, they're silver gray in color and they have black faces. So this story tells you about how the langurus got black faces, sooty black faces. Earlier they didn't have black faces. And I'm going to read you a chapter from the book and then we're going to have some interesting activity also for you. So are we ready? Yes. Um, wonderful. So the chapter that I'm going to read out to you is the pranks of the young langur. Has anyone played a prank here? No? We have all angels here? <laughs> yes? No? You've never played a prank? You have? Oh, there is an honest person and then there are some hands that are going up. Okay? So what is a prank? A prank is when you do something naughty and either for fun or uh, to kind of surprise your friends or someone in the family. So. Uh, the name of the chapter is Pranks of the Young Langur. India's leaping langurs can be holy, helpful or even pesky. Okay? Now, what is the meaning of pesky? Troublesome. Like a mosquito buzzing near your ear. Okay? That's a pesky uh, insect and you want to swat at it. So, the name of the langur was Lalit. Does anyone know the meaning of the word Lalit? No, all Indian names have meanings. Okay, so actually it means someone who is graceful and kind. Hmm? Lalit surely belonged to the last category. So he was neither holy nor helpful. All of us know that in India we even worship the monkey god Hanumanji. Yes, on Tuesdays and Thursdays we offer him fruits. And he was the one who had uh, helped uh, Lord Rama build the bridge uh, to Sri Lanka and played a very vital role in, uh, in, the, uh, in the different stories of Ramayana. He was proving to be quite a handful. Are you a handful? No? Sometimes? Sometimes. Maybe your parents or your teachers or your other aunts and uncles. There are some honest children who are raising their hands. He would pull his grandfather's whiskers while he dozed peacefully. I hope none of you do that. His grandfather yelped in pain. Yow! What did he say? Yow. A bigger yow. Come on. Yow! Yes. And woke up with a start, shaking his head in consternation and disapproval. Just imagine if you're sleeping and someone did that. Pull your braid or pull your hair 
and then you woke up all of a sudden wondering what's happened hmm? has it ever happened with you a brother or a sibling played this prank with you okay he shouted loudly in the wise old owl's hollow putting his head as close as he could and letting out a piercing ear shattering shrill shriek Yow! what did he do Yow! this shriek won't wake up the owl come on give me some love more lung pa <laughs> okay i think you could do better what have you had for breakfast hmm? <laughs> someone is telling me what they had for breakfast the wise old owl had just dozed off after a long night of vigil in the jungle and he woke up with a start hooting loudly in alarm <laughs> yes after playing a prank lalit would chuckle gleefully baring his small crooked teeth with a gummy grin so when he saw people were upset or in pain he didn't feel bad what were first lab- labeled as naughty pranks of a curious child soon turned into a nuisance and then a menace he knotted the tails of two small baby langurs perched on a branch they fell down from the branch with a loud thud and wailed in dismay and said mama what did they say mama so even when you you're all grown up and when you're in pain who whom do you tend to remember mama. Uh, yes i'm sure the mamas here know that okay what was alarming was that he seemed to enjoy the pain of others okay that's not something good when the angry mothers went to complain to leela leela was the name of Lalit's mother. She shooed them off, saying their children must have been played a prank on by someone else. So sometimes mamas do that. They try to protect their children, and if someone else complains about them, they try to find excuses for their bad behavior. Not all mamas, but some do, and I think most of us are guilty of doing it at least once. She added that a lad Lalit was too innocent to do so, and Lalit blinked, batting his eyelashes. innocently and stayed mum he knew how to wrap his doting mother around his hairy little finger i'm sure even you know how to get your wishes okay when you want something from mama either be extra nice or probably throw a little tantrum do you throw tantrums <laughs> yes at times lalit didn't seem to live up his name at all he was neither graceful nor charming So remember the name Lalit means graceful and charming and the next time probably in school or in the play field or in your society you can ask your friends what their names are you probably know their names already but what their names mean okay in fact he seemed to display nasty traits on tuesdays he lurked behind the elders of his clan hid behind the banyan trees around the hanuman temple and jumped out suddenly pouncing on the children with snarling bad teeth can you show me a snarling bad teeth no no snarling no bad teeth come on if i can do it you can do it yes this scared the young children who started screaming and bawling in fear and what what would the, do the children do again yes right mama help This scared the young children who started screaming and bawling in fear. He made horrendous faces. Can you make some horrible, scary faces for me? These aren't scary enough. At least I'm not scared. Try it with your partners and see if they are scared. Are they scared? No, they seem to be grinning and laughing and chuckling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> puffing his cheeks. Can you show me puffing his cheeks? Yes. rolling his eyes can you roll your eyes yes menacingly and lashing his tail around we don't have tails <laughs> at least not now wickedly hmm? <laughs> to add to the theatrics he would let out a scary yell you what would he do in between yeah. ah he snatched food from the little children just imagine if you're sitting calmly at the dining table or in the school playground having lunch and someone just came an animal pounced on you and snatched your tiffin it has happened i hope it was a friend and pulled at the saris of the young ladies causing them to trip or scamper away hurriedly his audacity knew no bounds 
Lalit even dared to nibble at the tiger cub's ear, who was frisking playfully near his mother. And the tiger, we all know the lions and the tigers are the kings of the jungle. Yes? So he was not scared. He went and took a little nibble at the cub's ear. And do you think the mother would have been happy? No. no. Hmm? The cub let out a painful yelp and ran away with his tail between his hind legs. He forgot to roar and he said, Meow! What did the cub say? Meow! What is the cub supposed to say? Meow! Huh? No? What is the cub supposed to say? Ha! Huh? That sounds like a monkey. Come on. Haven't you heard a cub roaring? Come on, let's be a little scarier. Yes, you all need to go on a jungle safari. <laughs> the tigress roared loudly. <gasps> what did she say? Angrily. Hmm? She was very angry with this behavior of her cub. Pulling her cub back by his tail. Admonishing him to smarten up and behave in a royal manner. She wanted to behave, him to behave like a prince. Okay? She bared her teeth at the lowly creature. <sighs> she tried to scare him. Who had dared to trouble the royal offspring? She was taken aback by the behavior of the cheeky little langur and let out a frustrated roar. Do you get frustrated at times? Or have you s heard your parents or your teachers saying that they are frustrated? What does this word mean? Any guesses? Yes? disturbed or very irritated you don't know what to do yes okay wonderful the little langu do you think he was affected by the tigress's roar no he was unfazed by the roar of the tigress and bared his teeth cheekily what did he do <laughs> can you show me yes chattering and mocking i tried to copy her she was outwitted by the cheeky langur who scampered up a tree. He qu climbed quickly up a tree, making funny faces and mocking her. Can you show me some funny faces? You showed me scary faces. These funny faces. Come on. No funny. You, you never feel like making a funny face? Then something's wrong with you. Come on. Today you need to go home and stand in front of the mirror and practice some funny faces. Yes. Can someone come, and he come here and show the others who are feeling shy what a funny face looks like? Come on. The brave ones can come here and show the others. No one? Am I so scary? I have had breakfast and come. Come. Wonderful. Wonderful. He has a girl with a smart bag with her. What's your name, child? Rimjim. Rimjim. What a wonderful name. And which school are you in? Akshara? Yeah. Okay. Can you make a funny face for them? Did you find it funny? Let me have a look at it. I can just see her back. Oh. Anyone else who can make a funnier face? Come on. Come on quickly. Come, come, come. Scamper up. You uh, uh, imitating the langur. Come, all of you can do it together. Stand here. All of you together. <laughs> so did you find the faces funny? Yes. Someone has come, uh, two of them have come with their bags also. Okay. Is that enough funniness for a day? Yes. Can we clap for them? <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Now, what did the langu do? He pulled out his tongue. Can you pull out your tongue? No? Of course you can. Oh, come on. <laughs> yes. And which, which animal in the animal kingdom has the longest tongue? The giraffe. Yes, it's very long. Okay. And made a weird wobbling sound to add insult to injury. The tiger got an earful from his wife about the cheeky little langur's impudence when he came back exhausted in the evening after a long day in the jungle. So, what happens at times? Does it happen that you've been naughty or probably a teacher has written a remark from school and Papa comes back in the evening from office all tired and Mama complains about you? Has it ever happened? No. no? Again, I think seem to have an audience of angels here. It has happened, right? Yes. And 
No, ma'am. Okay, some are saying yes. Some are being honest. Okay. Sometimes even mamas get tired. They have do they have loads of energy and loads of patience. They get tired. And they tend to do that. And they say, you know what your child did? They forget to say our child at that time. And this teacher has written this about him. Or the neighbor complained that he broke a window pane with his ball. Or something like that. And do you feel that would be nice when someone is coming back tired? No. So all the mamas will probably keep that in mind. Hmm? And he had come back after a long day in the jungle. So what would the tiger's work be in the jungle? Any idea? Yes? Hunting? Hunting, but you know, uh, okay. What else? What else? Yes? Helping the lion? Um, Patulisa, as far as I know, lions and tigers live in different territories, right? Yes. There were wild cats. That's a nice way of saying that. I hope we don't meet a wild cat in reality. Then we would be really scared. They look nothing like the little cats we have around us. Yes? Hunting and getting food for the family, but as a king of the jungle, maybe he is uh, solving other issues also, some disputes, solutions for some arguments, or something which is going wrong in the jungle, or some animal who's been mischievous. Yes? Protecting the jungle from hunters. Protecting the jungle from hunters. hunters. Okay. Yes, imagine what a wonderful life if you could just do that. Yes, but even they are threatened by us, right? Not all, all of us shoot them with our cameras. Some um, people uh, who don't have good intentions, they are called poachers, they even uh, poach wild animals. And then hearing his wife's complaint, he ground his teeth in anger and helpness, help, uh, helplessness. How do you grind your teeth? No, grinding your teeth. What do you do? Yes. Have you seen someone grinding something on the grinding stone traditionally? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So now what happened? Young Lalit, that was the name of the Languta. Does, does anyone remember his mother's name? Leela. Leela. Wonderful. You are all listening so carefully. Do you think he still, people still kept, uh, ca kept calling him uh, Lalit, which was like graceful, and no, so he earned a nickname. How many of you have nicknames? Wonderful. You know what? Sometimes our parents give us such lovely names. And our mamas keep calling us Chinto, Pinto, Bablo, Tinto. Just imagine an old lady like me with grey hair being called baby. Yes? So no matter how old you are, your parents still feel you are young. They keep giving you suggestions and directions. Even I keep getting directions from my mother. Okay? He earned a nickname. Any guesses? Yes? Naughty. Naughty. Okay. Any guesses? Mischievous. Was he mischievous or mischievous? Mischievous. Okay. Mischievous. Badmash. Badmash. Hmm? <coughs> what was that? Khol? Okay. <laughs> So he, everyone started calling him Lalu. What did they start calling him? Lalu. Okay, does that sound nice? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, but that, that's the nickname he earned. They started calling him Lalu. Okay. So we have a, I have a small song that I'm going to sing for you and you're going to sing along with me. The song is in Hindi. It's about Lalu Langur. Will you sing along with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So should we begin? You want me to step down? Will I be visible if I step down? Or you want me sing to sing from here? Okay. Lalu langur bhai, lalu langur. Lalu langur bhai, lalu hai langur. Khata se ke le rasile se angur. Thali bajata tham 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 Thali bajata tham 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 Karta matar grishti nahi jata tham 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 Karta matar grishti nahi jata tham 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 Thali 
सब है परेशान भाई सब है हैरान इसको धमकी दे या खींचे इसके कान बोलो बोलो क्या मिले इसको सजा सोचो सोचो क्या मिले इसको सजा सोचो बोलो सोचो सोचो बोलो सोचो बोलो जल्दी सोचो बोलो रे लल्लू लंगूर भाई लल्लू लंगूर लल्लू लंगूर भाई लल्लू है लंगूर अभी मुझको यू हैव टू मेक अ फनी फेस फॉर मी लाइक लल्लू लंगूर यस ओनली द चिल्ड्रन आर डूइंग इट द अडल्ट्स हैव फॉरगॉटन वेयर द चाइल्ड विद इन देम इज कम ऑन दे कैन आल्सो जॉइन एंड शो मी अ फनी फेस और दे आर स्केयर्ड ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन जजिंग देम ओके सो आई होप यू विल रीड द रेस्ट ऑफ द बुक ऑल्सो Now I'm going to sing a little song, just a tune, and that you'll sing with me, okay? Ta na 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 na. Ta na 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 na. Ta na 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 na. Ta na na. So, any guesses as to what this musical instrument is? When I used it in school, children told me a damru. It's not a damru. It's not a. Does a tabla look like this? <laughs> come on, come on, wake up, wake up. Don't know. This is this is a musical instrument from Uttarakhand. You know where Uttarakhand is? Yes. Ma'am. Yes. Um, in the Himalayas, and you have uh, your Nainital, Almora, Basuri. um rishikesh all those places there and this is called a holka this is played by the people in the farms by the men and the women when they are sowing crops or when they are reaping crops to make their work lighter and to ease it so it's called a holka okay so generally people say it's a damru it's not a damru i'm not shiv ji with a big damru okay 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 so we have some fun activity for you do you want to do that Just imagine. Uh, do you have a thinking caps on? Yes. Yes. Come on. Hmm? So just imagine you had an opportunity to play God. Isn't that interesting? Yes. yes. And you, if have you, how many of you have seen what Langur looks like? So it's silver grey, and it has it has a black face. Um, this I don't think the cover is so book. like this it's again um i don't know uh, um where where the school is the bukum branch we the day i read out this book there were there were there were there were quite a few lungos who came there and listened to the story but i haven't seen so many here but probably in mahabaleshwar and uh, a little higher you see lots of lungos hmm? and you know what monkeys are scared of lungos in several places in india in new delhi near uh, when they the the monkeys uh, they are creating a menace near the buildings the lungos are called to chase them away so that's again something interesting okay so you're all going to draw a picture of how you want the lungo to look like would you like to do that yes. so either you can do that or you can write about a prank that someone has played on you you've read about or a prank that you wish to play on someone okay so that's shoryavir and he's my grandson he's going to be 8 in february and he along with all the children um he inspires me to write many stories this story st- 
uh, when I conceptualized it, it started with a story that I narrated to him during bedtime. And then he found it so funny, I thought that we might, I must share it with the other children. Okay? And please write your names. I would like to carry these drawings with me and put them up somewhere at home. Okay? Pass it on to your other friends. Uh, do some of you have pencils? Otherwise, we've got, uh, we, we, will, we can distribute them. And does anyone have any questions for me? You're free to ask. And please read books, okay? There's a wonderful world that is waiting for you. Hmm? So you can read books, you can tell stories, you can write stories of your own. How interesting would that be? So maybe the next time I will come to the Pune Literary Festival and hear you tell me a story. Wouldn't that be great? Why are you doing 
so many experiments. No one is going to judge against So I just told the children who are sitting here, maybe I wasn't audible to the ones who are sitting there, that no one is judging you. There's no teacher who's going to frown at this and say, the tail is long, the nose is short, the nose is stubby, the hands need to be more shapely, the legs need to be more shapely, there are so many spelling mistakes. So if there are any teachers around, please shut your eyes in. <laughs> okay? So there's a masterpiece there in each and every paper. So is there anyone who would like to ask something? Yes. So the first book that I wrote was uh, Kavitaon Ka Jadoi Pitara. It has Hindi poems. And the first poem that I wrote was uh, Jab Machli Ko Hua Zukam. So just imagine a fish getting a cold. That's great. A big hand. All of you all. Okay, there we have another one. Yes. So that happens sometimes. Parents have high aspirations for their children. And when they're born, they don't, they all believe that they'll be all stars, shining stars. And you are all shining stars in your own ways. But uh, probably um, his mother, Leela, didn't know that he would turn out to be such a mischievous character. If you read the book, you'll come to know about his other pranks too. Okay? Yes. Yes, the girl there. Yes. So I am an English teacher and the first three books that I wrote were in Hindi. So people often ask me why, but I say why not. And uh, I believe that rather than teaching English or Hindi or history or math, we are teaching children. We all need to remember that. Okay. Yes, child. So my own grandchildren and the children around me, the children of Sanskriti, all of you, okay? So you give us so much of energy, so much of hope, we learn so much from you. So I know all the cool words that you use. <laughs> yes. So I just said, for, for this book, this was a story that I told my grandson one night and he found it so funny. So I thought I must share it with the others, but basically children only. And um, so rather than adults always preaching them and telling them what is the moral of the story, what is the moral of the story, so the children should be able to just enjoy a story and probably whatever they learn from, probably the fun, the color, the light, the nature, the learning should be everyone's own, okay? Because if one looks at a cloud, the clouds are in different shape. I might see a rabbit, someone else might see a dragon, someone else might see something else. Thank you. Julio? <laughs> okay. How old are you? How old am I? I'm 59. And next year I'll turn 60. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. So he was naughty and he was young and he felt he was cheeky also. He felt he could get away with anything. Okay? At times when you are very young, you don't worry about what's going to happen if you do something naughty. Just go ahead and do it. And I think all the adults also need to do that once in a while. <laughs> okay? Thank you so much. And let's have a big round of applause for all my children. You've been such a wonderful audience. Thank you so much. And should I share a secret? I was very nervous and I was v wondering what will happen even though I'm, I have done many of these sessions before. But I'm always very nervous in the morning. And you've all made my day. Okay? So thank you so much. God bless you.